From infancy to death, human lifespan development. Infancy Infants develop certain behaviors before they are born. This concept is described as a reflex. Reflex is an inborn automatic response to a particular form of stimulation. Reflexes are the most organized pattern of behavior displayed by newborn babies. As a baby, I would fall asleep from listening to classical music. My mother told me that she loved listening to classical music during her pregnancy days. Classic music made her relax and it transferred to the baby that she carried. Infants tend to develop certain behavior traits which are relative to their mother's surrounding environment. In this case, reflexes create the first behavior patterns in children. Early Childhood Early childhood is the period in which children get their first education. Cognitive development theory purports that children actively construct knowledge as they manage and explore their world. Children between the ages of 2 and 5 learn from observation of their surrounding environment and this notion is evident in the first language. As my parents communicated with me in English, it became my first language. I grew up towards the age of 5 years, I learned word manipulation that made me improve my understanding of the English language. Middle to Late Childhood The processing of information into meaningful output begins in the middle and late childhood stages. Information processing is the manipulation of information to gain a desired and meaningful outcome. Many children begin their first grade education in the mid-childhood stage. I attended my first grade class at the age of six. At six years old, a child can process information into a meaningful output. Many children begin to develop complex behaviors at this stage since they have a better understanding of their environment. They begin to differentiate between good and bad which is the reason why parents tend to refrain from using coarse language around their offspring. Adolescence Identity is the major personality attainment of adolescence and is a crucial step toward becoming a productive, content adult. The adolescent stage is the pre-adulthood stage where young people create their identity. Constructing an identity entails defining who you are, what you value, and the directions you choose to pursue in life. I made many mistakes in my adolescent stage. I was subjected to punishment which made me realize that people should be accountable for their actions. This was one of the main lessons that developed my way of thinking and actions as an adult. Early Adulthood Early adulthood is the stage of self-actualization. At this stage, human beings develop epic cognition. Epic cognition refers to people's reflection on how they arrived at facts, beliefs, and ideas. At this stage, one can handle complex tasks due to an increased level of intelligence quotient. Early adulthood brings certain life changes such as attaining economic independence. I left home at the age of 24 years, and then I got my first job, earned my first salary, and moved into my house. Middle Adulthood The middle adulthood stage entails self-examination where people ought to re-examine their lives and create new challenges. It is a delicate stage that if not handled correctly may lead to a midlife crisis. Midlife crisis in this case refers to self-doubt and stress especially great during the 40s. Many people develop bad habits such as alcoholism and substance abuse which help them cope with the stress and challenges that they encounter at this life stage. At this stage of my life, I will examine my regrets and achievements which will help me decide on the new phase of my life. Late Adulthood This is the stage beyond the life expectancy in many countries. In late adulthood, one experiences several physical changes as many body organs begin to tire thus a person experiences frailty. Frailty involves the weakened functioning of diverse organs and body systems which profoundly interferes with everyday competence and leaves older people highly vulnerable in the face of infection. To most people, this is the stage of rest. At this time, my grandmother is in the late adulthood stage. At the age of 81, she is often attacked by numerous infections which makes her reliant on medication for the rest of her life. Death Death is considered as the last stage in the life of a person. It is an inevitable stage which all human beings have to experience. This notion is referred to as mortality. Mortality is the passing of an individual into permanent death. 
Many people, when lucky enough, die as a result of old age. When a person dies of old age, the bereaved celebrate life. 